A lot has happened in the world of entertainment, in movies, video games, TV shows, you name it, it's fucking happened. Alanis, there's been a lot to talk about, hasn't there? It has been. Not enough Walton Goggins, though. No. And for people that are watching this, this is their first episode. It's a reference way back. Way back. So with that, let's get into this week's, well, this episode of Pop Cult, Pop Vultures. Pop Cultures, Vultures. Vultures, Cultures, Pop Pop Vultures. Pop Cultures. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Fuck the name of the show. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Welcome to Fuck. What were you about to say before the intro rolled? <laughs> I was about to say, welcome to our new show, Fuck. Fuckers. Fuck, fucking fuck. The motherfucking fuckers. The pop fuckers. <laughs> so today we've got a lot to talk about, Alanis. We do, we do. Well, over the course of the week, we got a lot to talk about. We are delivering this show differently. So, from now on. This show will be uh, recorded all in one go, but each topic will be released day by day until we run out of content from that episode where we will record another one and it'll keep going. So you get a smaller size content rather than a longer episode, but you'll get it every single day. And each day it'll tackle a news topic that we talked about in this full episode. And we're thinking probably once the episode has dropped fully, in parts slowly, we will release the episode in full after that. How does that sound, Alanis? That sounds good. By the way, I'm your host, Tommy A. West, and joining me as always is my co-host, Alanis Maximus. Salutations. So, I almost that, say something that time. I almost waved, but I didn't. You and your fucking non-talking during a podcast, mate. I don't know <laughs> what. Silent cast. So... <laughs> With that, let's get into our first, I think, sort of going to be heated debate and reaction on the Super Mario Brothers movie trailer. Now, Alanis, I'm going to bring this up for us to view together, and then we are going to chat about the trailer, about our concerns, about our excitement, about our... Whatever you want to call it. Now, here we go. Let's bring it up for all of us to watch. That's a car. Okay. Not sure if you know who I am, but I'm about to rule the world. Wow. Uh, yay. But there's one problem. There's a human has a mustache just like you. Do you think I know every human being with a mustache wearing an identical outfit with a hat with the letter of his first name on it? <laughs> because I don't. <laughs> No pressure.
Now, Pilatus, I know you have some concerns about this movie, but you know what? <laughs> For me, it gets a hell yeah. I can't wait for this movie. Now, I know your concerns are it's Chris Pratt. The voices aren't what you were wanting. Um, but from a visual standpoint, this looks incredible. Something else I appreciate with this is it's not like Sonic where we were introduced to Sonic and then got a hint of Tails at the end of that movie and then we get Tails and Knuckles and now we're getting a hint at Shadow like it looks like they're throwing everything in the Mario kitchen sink in this one fucking movie. And I... Yeah, Yoshi, which I find interesting. No, no, no. You, let's, let's go back and have a quick miss view. Him? You missed it. Let's go back and have a quick view. Yoshi is in it for a very split second. Now, I'm going to show you. Let's skip forward. I will find it for you one second. Right there. Huh. Except Warrior. Ah. Oh. But I, I feel that'll be in the next one. 100%. He'll be after credits. Look, man. All I can say is that I wouldn't be surprised if Wario is in this movie and they just haven't shown him in the trailer yet. Like, we're <laughs> getting Toad, we're getting Donkey Kong, we're getting Mario, we're getting Luigi, we're getting Bowser, we're getting Princess Peach. We're getting everything. And you, you know what I've noticed from this trailer too? Is that I don't think it's going to be saving the princess this time. I think it is going to be saving the Mushroom Kingdom and all the other galaxies. But it looks like Luigi is the one that they're going to be going after from the looks of this trailer by Bowser holding him captive. Um, is that what you get from looking at this trailer as well? I do. I get that a little bit, yeah. So I appreciate that. I appreciate the Mario Kart. Stuff that we get to see. I appreciate seeing Mario sort of do the 2D platforming on the bricks and things. I appreciate seeing different things. I like the hint that you hear Princess Peach say there are a lot of, a lot of lands, there's a lot of galaxies, obviously hinting towards Super Mario Galaxy, which was a game we all know on the Wii. Um, Donkey Kong is in it. Um, like, I just see this movie being like really beautiful, um, really fan servicing. And I just see that if the biggest gripe for people is the voice, I just think that that's something that I think will be fine when you're watching the movie because you will be so pleased with the end result of everything else they put into it, like story, uh, visuals, um, satisfaction of just maybe other characters because Bowser, I think, is voiced perfectly by Jack Black. Um, I think Toad's still, Toad is per perfectly voiced. I think Princess Peach is perfectly voiced. I think they picked all these great voice uh, people to do the voices for this cast. And while it might be jarring that Mario and Luigi have these weird voices that you probably weren't expecting them, I still think that it's going to not be the problem that people think it's going to be. But um, i like to hear from you, Alanis, with your concerns on it and maybe your hopes on it and do you think maybe people are being too harsh on it or do you think the criticism of everything that's being criticized about it is totally fair i think it looks good but i think the voices are trash like that that's not mario and i think so are you talking about all voices not all voices mario and luigi and it irritates me that he does a call and goes let's go it's like, I don't get that. I, I don't get why they had to change if they still use that kind of, um, that, that voice, I guess. Um, yeah, but to me, to me, look, there's a fine line between voice acting for a Mario video game where you have seven lines. Wahoo! Let's go! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Like, there's a very big fine line between that and voicing a whole entire movie. And I don't think that maybe the Mario guy had the chops to be able to deliver the lines of, like, 
compassion or the lines of deeper stuff or things like that the way that it needed to be delivered. And it would have been super weird having Chris Pratt do the voice for everything else and then just having the guy that does Mario's voice going, wahoo, you know what I mean? So I don't know. I think that that's probably why we're not getting the same voice is because that guy has probably not got the acting chops for a feature film. I don't know. That's just my take on it. Uh, they, they should have got someone that could have done it, though, I think, and not Chris Pratt because I don't know. Yeah, but who would have you, who would have you gone to that would have you think done a better job? Because I mean, to me, okay, maybe he doesn't sound a lot like Mario, but he isn't delivering the lines in a way that to me sound terrible, terrible. Like I, to, I, I get you think they sound trash, but I don't think of anyone else that they could have gotten currently that would have made it any less trash to the people that were saying it's trash because. I think that the reason you're saying it's trash is because it's just not what we're used to as the voice of Mario. So who could have stepped in to maybe make that better for you? Well, I think if there probably are some big name voice actors that they could have done it, um, even not necessarily have someone that's massive to do it. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I just, it, it doesn't sit right with me, but um, to move on from that, my only other concern is I think, if they're throwing everything at us in a movie that's going to be at most an hour and a half, two hours max, it feels like they might be cramming too much in as well. Um, but I know that I, I can't say that for sure. Obviously, we've got very um, little at this point. How did you feel about Ready Player One? I have not seen that movie. Okay, well, Ready Player One, when you look at the trailer for that, it looks like just a colossal fucking disaster like not a disaster but just like everything thrown in one movie and it's very very chaotic but at the same time managed very very well and i think it is fine so to me i'm thinking that what we're seeing is gonna be an adventure that mario has that's gonna incorporate a lot of the adventures that we've seen him have in the video games but i'm hoping that it's all purposely placed to be there for the reason of it needs to be there and not because they felt like they needed to incorporate it. And for me, with the love and effort they're putting into the environment, to the character designs, to everything about it that makes it Mario, I just don't see them cramming everything into a movie just simply because. I see them making sure that it builds correctly in momentum and that all the things like the Mario Kart chase and stuff are like the big set pieces. You know what I mean? I just, I feel like I, I have not seen anything from this movie that has made me go, uh Oh, you know what I mean? Like I know you thought, uh Oh, because of the voices, but I'm trying to look at everything else apart from the voices in this movie um, and trying to look at what the movie is trying to be. And to me, I'm seeing a movie that's had a lot of love, care, thought, and understanding of the property being used. And I'm hoping that I'm correct in this and it's not just garbage because I would really love for, as I said, Sonic to take a cue from this with his movies, which is he doesn't need to be in a real world setting. I would love to see Sonic in his world, like, I don't want to see another Alvin and the fucking Chipmunks 3D movie with fucking some, <laughs> you know, loser that's playing the cap, the main actor and being like, oh, my God, there's Chipmunks here now. Like, yeah, man, we're Chipmunks. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> fucking, I don't want to see that shit. I feel like Mario is being done justice by just simply having him set in the Mario universe and... I have high hopes. I know you have your concerns, but we will come see this April, obviously. And Alanis, this movie looks that beautiful that it's we're seeing it 3D. It says available real D 3D. Now, look, I know that's not an option for us in Australia a lot of the time. Even though in America, when people want to go see Jurassic World Dominion or whatever, they have that option. It's just not used very much, but it is still an option. Whereas in Australia, I feel like maybe certain cinemas might have it, but every time me and Alanis have gone to see a movie and there's been an option for 3D, apparently, there's never been an option for 3D 
Um, so I don't know if that's going to be the case of this movie, but say if it is going to IMAX 3D or something like that, because I could see this being the sort of 3D kids movie that and adults movie that would go to 3D IMAX out of all the sort of like video game to life or even just to read a like animated Pixar style movies. Like I see this being the one that will go to IMAX. What do you think? I think it is going IMAX. Well, if that's the case, we're seeing it 3D IMAX, just like we're going to be seeing Avatar way of the water in 3D in around seven days. Next, next, next Wednesday to be exact. So seven days. Exactly. And yeah, I'm so hey, excited, it's Wednesday, isn't it? I'm so excited, bro, just because we have not seen a 3D – I've not seen a 3D movie in five years. And from what I've heard, they are pushing the boundaries with this 3D now that we've got 4K HDR. Apparently, there's no blur. Or apparently, there's no nothing. Apparently, this 3D is fucking outstanding, and I cannot fucking wait for IMAX 3D. But um, anyways, back to the topic. What do you – what do you think – I know uh, – let's put your concerns aside and let's discuss what do you think is going to happen when this movie comes out? Do you think this will be successful? Do you think this will be critically acclaimed? Do you think this is going to be accepted by audiences or do you think this is going to be flopped or do well but only because of the name and then realise that – it's a bad movie, even though it's done well. What is your prediction? Uh, I get the feeling it's going to kind of be like Sonic. I think it's going to do well, but I don't think it's going to be like... As far as kids' movies go, I guess, is the the template. I don't think it's going to punch into the weight class of, say, a, a Disney movie like Frozen or anything like that. I don't think it's going to be like the next big blockbuster. Um, I... I think it'll be successful but I don't think it's going to be groundbreakingly successful. I'm going to have to disagree with you. And that's simply because <clears throat> I've watched a lot of people watch this trailer on YouTube reaction wise. I have seen people brought to tears. I've seen people with smiles on their faces saying they can't believe this is happening. I've seen people saying they are so excited. I've seen people saying they cannot wait. I think Mario is such a big property. It's been a big property for, 40 years or more like it's it's spans generations now like my grandfather knows mario like i know mario my dad knows mario my son loves mario i see frozen was built upon simply just being a disney movie and little girls wanting but basically i'm sure little boys wanted to see it too and stuff but it was targeted at little girls and i don't see mario being less popular than a Un, an un, uh, an, an, a, non, a non-established Disney movie. You know what I mean? I see Mario being a bigger movie than I think we think it is. I see this movie possibly being a billion-dollar movie. Maybe, maybe I don't know. We'll you got to think, you gotta think about it. You got to think about it from the perspective of that. This is Mario we're talking about. Mario sells how many millions of copies of games? Mario is on how many jumpers and T-shirts? They have Lego Mario, Super Super Mario sets. They have Mario fucking everything. And my kid eats it up. Uh, Nintendo gamers eat it up. Um, it's made by Illumination, who made the Minions movies. Uh, moviegoers are going to eat this up. I just think that I think this is going to be a bigger movie than anyone's anticipating. I really think it is. Yeah, well, I guess we'll see. I mean, I think there's a potential there, but I don't know. We'll I see. think it's going to do better than Sonic, hands down. Yeah. So, I think, yeah, better than Sonic, but I don't think it's going to be the next big thing, so to speak. I don't think it's, I don't know. I guess we'll see when it comes April, eh? Because yeah. I I reckon, we're, I reckon we should maybe next episode work out a wager. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That if I'm right, you buy me pizza. <laughs> Actually, no, fuck oh, it. Whoa, whoa, wait a second. Well, what? Well, I was checking this up as we were talking about it. Village Cinema Knox has Avatar in 3D. Yeah, so but I know. Is... Yeah, I know, I know. But I think this, this 
could be an uptick in seeing movies in 3D again. So you think we're going to maybe get a resurgence? Yeah, yeah, maybe. I am hoping so, man, because 3D went away, and I was the, I was one of the only people I think in the entire world that was disappointed. I think out of the I think literally there were maybe me and some other bloke down the street that were like, "No 3D," and the rest of the world was like, "Ah, fuck 3D." So if I'm telling you, if 3D comes back and it becomes an option on 3D televisions and 3D gaming comes back and stuff, like, man, like, I'm fucking there. So I can only hope. Anyways, I think uh, that is a good conversation and a good sort of discussion about Mario and what we can expect from it next 